the training program that you're about to begin is focused on listening and we chose listening as an initial area to focus our uh, our research and our development efforts because listening is the most important means of communication for people right now you're learning the information that I'm that I'm talking about by listening and the best way to enhance memory and cognition in people is to start with that sensory modality so the kinds of exercises you're going to be doing are going to be focused very intently on how you hear things and particularly on how you hear speech the goals of this training program as you go through it are to specifically enhance your memory for speech and the things that you hear and your ability to hear speech clearly and then act on it and what I mean by that is that when we designed this program our explicit goal was to help people do things like when you're about to go out to the store and a friend of yours or your spouse asks you to remember six or eight things to get at the store we want your brain to be tuned up so that when your your friend or your spouse says that says those words to you your brain receives them more accurately in the first place stores them more strongly in memory so that when you get to the store and you're trying to remember those things they're easier to find in memory so you can actually go ahead and make those purchases you've been asked to so that's a simple example but we think that the kinds of benefits that a person should get from this training program extend broadly to all kinds of memory and action that's guided by this most fundamental and important form of human communication of speech so how does this training program do this well this program isn't like a lot of other things that you might may have come across it's not a bunch of strategies about how to remember things we're not teaching people a trick to help their memory what this training program does is it is aimed at fundamentally uh, improving the way the brain processes speech information and then stores it in memory and then reads it out one way to think about this is to think about um, your the parts of your brain that process speech and language as a, as a pipe and words that come in through your ear have to go through this pipe to eventually be stored in memory and then read out layer and as people get older in a way this pipe becomes um, you know narrower and slightly congested so that the words that are coming in that you're hearing don't get represented as accurately or as strongly you can imagine the water flowing through this pipe is slowed down and has eddies and currents and doesn't come out the other side quite as strongly and that's why it becomes more difficult to remember things accurately and to do the things that you uh, are trying to remember uh, what this program does in a sense is take that pipe and really scour it out <laughs> so that all the words that are coming in through uh, through a person's ears get through that pipe clearly and accurately and quickly into the brain's memory systems where they can be stored to, to guide future actions uh, so uh, the way that uh, the way the program actually does that scouring so to speak is it's a collection of six different training exercises that have been carefully picked and designed on scientific principles around brain plasticity and around hearing and around language to uh, to achieve that um, that cleaning out of the pipe now a lot of people ask when they go through this program um, you know shouldn't this feel like memory training you know why aren't I you know I, I feel like I should be asked to remember things all the time and that's how my memory gets stronger uh, scientifically actually the best way to strengthen memory isn't just to try and remember things uh, one way to think about this is to think about how a basketball team practices uh, the way NBA teams get ready to win championships isn't just by coming into the court and playing basketball eight hours a day to get better at it the way people get the way a team gets better at basketball is uh, coaches have broken down the game of basketball into all of its tiniest constituent parts people who come into practice start off by stretching and then they do things like dribbling practice right or they do weight training to make themselves stronger and then they do things that are like pieces of basketball people practice free throws or they practice running up and down the court and finally at the end they practice specific scrimmages you know offense against defense the training program that we've developed works in a very similar way to help the brain process and store speech information better what you'll find as you do it is that there's this there's this series of six exercises which have been designed to fundamentally break down the process of listening and storing speech information you'll start off with exercises that aren't even really speech information at all they're very simple acoustic listening exercises they hear simple sounds and be asked to judge which ones are which and which order they come on 
You'll then go on to exercises that use very short pieces of speech, what we call phonemes or syllables. And we retrain the brain to process these very short fundamental building blocks of speech accurately. And then you'll move on to exercises where you'll listen to and remember and act on continuous speech, entire sentences or entire short stories. And by designing uh, this whole spectrum of exercises, from the very simple sounds to the very complex uh, full sentences in speech, we completely exercise the brain's speech and language and memory systems, just like that basketball team does. So that when you get out into the real world and are working to remember things or to hear things clearly in the first place, that that whole process in your brain will work better automatically uh, the first time and effortlessly. So that's what we hope uh, and believe that people will end up with after going through this training program. Now in addition to all of these listening exercises that I talked about, a very important feature of learning and memory in the brain is uh, the brain's ability to pay attention to things, the brain's ability to notice when something is new, and the brain's ability to, uh, uh, to be rewarded by things that are fun and interesting. I think all of us have been in classroom situations where we haven't learned anything because we've been bored and it seemed like nothing new was happening and we don't really feel like we're getting out of it. The training program that we've built is designed to really exercise all of those systems in the brain as well. The brain's attention system, the brain systems that detect new and interesting things, the brain systems that deal with reward and reinforcement. And by exercising all of those systems, we hope to really reinvigorate the entire process of learning and memory in the brain as well. And it's that reinvigoration in combination with the specific exercises for listening that occur that together work together to really enhance the brain's ability to, to uh, process speech and then to remember and act upon it. Uh, so uh, with that in mind, um, I hope that this has given you a uh, first overview to how we designed this program and why we designed it. And uh, I hope that you enjoy it.